Do you know the difference between Alabama bass and a smallmouth bass? One's from Alabama? Yes, sir, it is. Hey, we're at Kentucky Lake today for uh, one of the Bill Dance Signature Series Lake events. It's a fishing tournament, and we host those across the state to promote our fishing and promote the Bill Dance Signature Lake access areas. Anglers are catching some really good fish, and now we're experiencing some invasions of the Alabama bass and some of the hybridization issues with our smallmouth population. A lot of the anglers today have weighed in smallmouth bass. They've really taken off over the last three or four years. For that to go away, it would really impact people's desire to come here and fish and really impact that economic driver. What are you doing? How you doing today, sir? 532. 532. So we're taking fin clips to get some genetic data off of these fish. And what we're doing is essentially testing to see if these are pure smallmouth bass or if they're potentially hybrids with Alabama bass. Which We've got Alabama bass spreading across the state right now. They're an invasive species and they do some damage to the smallmouth population. So we appreciate it. When you get that interbreeding, sometimes the offspring will look a little weird and you can visibly tell like, okay, that might be a hybrid. But a lot of the time, it'll look like a pure fish of one species or the other. And so you have to go back in the lab and do that genetic testing to see if there was potentially some hybridization further back down the line. Uh, are you familiar with Alabama bass? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, do you think that if you had a spotted bass and an Alabama bass in front of you, you could tell the difference? Probably not. I'd probably, I don't know, probably depends. They're very similar. We yeah. struggle with it. That's why we yeah. take genetics yeah. on them, right? I can tell the difference between the two, and I eat both of them. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Hatcheries play a huge role in our management of quality largemouth bass fishing. We have a facility at Humboldt Hatchery, our Florida Bass Propagation Building, and we've been able to produce on average about 1 to 1.2 million Florida Bass Fry each year to be stocked in the waters of Tennessee. You got some we just harvested over here? Yes. These were harvested a couple days ago. These are right at, I believe, 38 days. They're an inch and a half long, and they're ready to go to Kentucky Lake. Okay. Florida Bass, we tend to raise between 200 to 300,000. They get put in their allocated waters in hopes of having somebody catch a trophy fish and possibly a new state record. Wesley Kent will be our last angler on board as we close out day one of competition at the Bill Dance Giant Bass Open. You guys had a good time today? We have. Yeah, that's awesome. We appreciate y'all. The fisheries division is really blessed with a wonderful staff that has a high level of passion for the work that they do each day. Whether it be going to tournaments and collecting fin clips and, and working with tournament organizations to better manage their catch and release efforts or going in and analyzing the data that they collect and making recommendations for regulations. They really and truly live their work each and every day. 